Hello everyone and welcome back to another epic Snowy Matthew tutorial. Um, a lot of suggestions also on how to make f clothing folds. In a couple of tutorials back I, I taught you guys how to make 3D clothes which already kind of has folding clothes but there's if you don't want to do um, 3D clothes or you want to improve your 3D clothes um, then you can use this method. So what you want to do is download um, this file it's going to be in the description um, and then once you open it you're going to want to so click on it and then click on normal and make it overlay so that's going to like kind of take the shape of whatever's behind it and and so um, you you won't just see this gray you'll see like a version of it but on the clothes so then you're going to want to click on your layer and while holding alt you're going to want to click in between the layers with your render and your clothing fold. Once you do this, it should, wherever it is, it might disappear. You're just going to want to drag it into, so it, basically what happened is we just made it so it can only show on the render. So basically what you want to do is, so for this arm, we can just tilt it and kind of diagonally shape it. And there just like that um and then what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to do this to every single limb so like one for the one for right arm one for left arm one for left leg and torso and right arm, leg and then so once you got it for your arm you're gonna want to erase the part where it comes in contact with anything else and uh yeah you also want to erase like the hand if you have like skin and stuff because there's obviously not gonna be clothing folds and just a little tip, I've seen this before. Clothing folds are meant to be going down. There's only in some cases where they're going up, like if a character is falling or something. But basically, like, you don't want to put your, um, your render like this. Like, going upward. Because that just doesn't make sense and it doesn't really look like good. So try to always keep it going down because of gravity. Uh, basically like whichever way your character is going and you can just continue to erase all of this around it and you just want to do this for every single limb and it should look pretty sick uh, I'm gonna be back once I do it with every limb it's pretty it's pretty quick and yeah you don't have to do overlay you can do divide if you want it to be brighter and if you if you do divide you can go up to image adjustments and brightness and contrast and you can kind of, for some reason, when you lower the brightness, it gets brighter. So you're going to want to up the brightness a little bit, maybe, if you um, want to use divide instead of overlay. But yeah, that's basically it. So basically, when you're fully done, you should look with something like this. Sometimes you need to add more than five of them. Like, if you have, like, their back and their torso showing at the same time, or the side and the torso, then you want to do one for the for this side and one for this side. Yeah, that's basically it. And uh, you can make your stuff look a lot cooler. You can you can use overlay, or you can use divide, or vivid light, or soft light. It all depends. You just gotta adjust it in the uh, image and adjustments layer. But yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Super short, but that is all that I have for you today. Make sure you join the Discord where we give out free renders every 10 subscribers and there's also pretty cool people in there um and yeah make sure to go down in the socials and follow some cool kids and yeah thank you for watching